Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on the home as usual <laughs> because you can see we got a mess on our hands. We tore out our entire kitchen down to the studs. We're going to try to get it sheathed today. So we got OSB sheathing we're going to be putting up on the walls. But first we got to finish the sheathing on this end where our living room is. We're going to be taking down the siding and that window so that we can do this whole side and corner at the same time. As you guys can see, we got plastic on the back side of it because when we put our vapor barrier up on the inside, we didn't cut out for the window, anticipating that this would be going on, having to remove it. So now we don't have all this um, junk flying into our living space. First we had to get all the staples out of these studs. Everything on the mobile home is stapled on. So there was tons of staples left behind from the sheathing and siding. On the front of the house, we had to just pull and hammer and it took forever. It was such a tedious job. But on the back of the house, Ashley had an idea to use the reciprocating saw and it worked like a dream. We just ran the metal cutting blade right down the studs and it took off all the staples, all the nails, except for that one that I see right now. The other thing I had to do was over here, I had to shave this down. And this stuck out, like the house, it's two halves, and this half was sticking out further than the other. So I had to cut a big slice off of that, again with the saw. We didn't film it, but you can imagine it. This is how much was taken off. Yeah. It was pretty chunky. Right there. So now this is a smoother transition. I don't want any lumps in the siding. So that's all we had to do. Now we're going to be putting up the sheathing. We got it right back here behind us. There's not much grip. There's not much lip to grip on this side of the house, but we're trying to attach this board temporarily just to hold the OSB where we want it. There. Grab that side. Okay. Hold this. marked out up here. We like to mark these out before putting them on the wall because otherwise we don't know where to nail them. So we're just going ahead and marking out our nails and actually marking each nail so we can get the spacing right. It makes the job go so much smoother. Yeah. It's a little bit of prep work but it adds for a, a better experience. Yeah. 
I don't mark the corners because I, I think I can figure that much out. Are you sure? Yeah. This half went along pretty well. Now we're gonna start this half and we're gonna start from this corner and work over. We're doing that because since this is a double wide, it was built in two halves and the studs start 16 inches from center from that corner and then from that corner and they meet in the middle. So if we just kept going over from here, we wouldn't be in line with our studs anymore. So we'll start here, four foot, four foot, and then the last one we'll have to cut. Well, we got our first wall done. We thought we'd stop and just take a look at it. It looks awesome. It came out perfect, so we're happy. Now we're gonna be moving on to this wall. It's gonna be a little more tricky because there's some cutting and stuff involved, but it should go pretty smoothly still. You might notice that we haven't touched the top where the uh, peak is. We're gonna leave that unsheathed because we feel like we may have to access the attic to blow in our insulation, and that could be a good access point, so. Um, we're gonna leave that alone until the end. It should be fine. Now we're just about ready to put up our first sheet, but this side's a little complicated because from this spot where we want it flush with the bottom of our house, up to here is only about 95 inches. So just an inch shy of eight feet. This is a piece of plywood that's uh, in the way, and it's what these rafter extensions attach to. These aren't actually hooked to the roof, they're just hooked to this board. So basically we have to cut an inch off every one of these sheets that go on this wall. It's not a big deal, it's just an extra step. I just need a gap. Oop. That looks good. Well, there it is guys, we got the sheathing done. It all went really smoothly and we can check that off the list. That's a goal accomplished. Now, all we have to do is go inside and start marking and cutting out those holes for the windows and the door. We're gonna go ahead and do that now. Yep. So we got this long drill bit. We're just gonna be drilling out the corners so that we can see where our window is. And instead of reciprocating them from the inside, we'll probably do a circular saw from the outside, right? Yeah. Let's just take a moment to look at this room. Look how cool this looks. And pretty soon we'll have light.
Oh, I shouldn't lean the ladder on the board that's going to fall out when I cut it. <laughs> Picture if you did that. <laughs> oh, wow. You're falling straight into the house. Here's your new door. Now we're ready to house wrap. Yep. All right, the windows are done and looking good. Now we can finally get to the house wrap. So hopefully we can just wrap it around the house, get this all this OSB covered up and we'll be done for now. Let me bring this down. Let me just staple this edge more. Yep. I think this will be good. Want to come out? Up. Well, we got another job done and the house is starting to wrap up. We're slowly completing our September goals at the last minute. Hopefully we can pull this off. It's looking good though. It feels good to, to get that much done. And now we can really start turning our attention to windows and then the inside insulation and all that stuff. So. And we do have the windows now and the door. Everything's ready to put in. So we'll be doing that soon. Now, other than windows and doors, we're gonna leave this just wrapped, probably all winter. We get a lot of questions about that. Are we gonna be doing siding? This house wrap should last just fine over winter, and then we'll hopefully get the siding put on in spring and everything will be fine. So I guess that's all we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, take care. Bye.